Kia ora, my name's Maynard Peel. I'm 16 years of age. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Oh, yeah, I'm 17. <laughs> Sorry, bro, I'm 17. <laughs> Kia ora, my name's Maynard Peel. My iwi is uh, Teo Pody, and I'm the defending Junior Elite World Champion. As soon as I crossed the finish line, man, I, was, I just felt just so proud of myself. It looks like it's going to be cool from New Zealand. I always strive to win the world champs, and it was, man, it made me so happy. And it's just a moment of my life was full of joy. I'm Māori, European, a little bit of that. Welsh, Portuguese, Irish, got a little bit of that in me. A little bit of Pākehā, so a little bit of everything is, you know what they say is, uh, the mixed ones are the best ones. <laughs> <laughs> You're quite the popular one on, on, on our Instagram. I like sharing, sharing what I do with the followers and it's kind of like an interaction type thing, you know, they, they see what I do, they like the picture, so it's just, it builds my confidence too and it just puts myself out there and represent myself as a person. It's a fresh cup, bro, where did you get that from? Training six to seven days a week, two times a day. Waking up early hours in the morning, five o'clock to go to the gym, because I'd have like a, another training sessions in the afternoon when I got back from school. During the weekends, you know, going out and partying, just because, you know, every, that's what every teenager was. It. You know, you want to be with your friends, but then again, you got to think, you know, priorities and the hard work, just got to be dedicated. I've won seven national titles consecutively. I've won the World Championships in 2016. I've won the USA National Championships as well. What motivates you to get out of bed every day to do this? Seriously, bro, it's, I just love the sport, eh? And I want to be like the, at the pinnacle of my sport and I want to floss everyone, man. And as, as humbly as that can be said, yeah, I, I just, you know, I want to, I want to make a stand in my sport and, and just, I want to be the best I can and to be successful would, and win the Tokyo Olympics is, man, I was, that's just my dream and that's what motivates me every morning. Being Māori is quite important to me. We, we have such strong love for our whānau. Just being Māori is, it gives me mana, it makes me feel strong and um, like I have my, my tribe on my back, and, so to speak. As a 17 year old stepping into and making the transition into racing 20 year olds and 21 year olds like it's it's a whole nother ball game you know it's a it's a mind game you just got to keep on your game and and sometimes the your true training gets boring and, and those are the my professional challenges myself that I've that I've conquered and overcome is just you know at the end of the day look at the prize like what's the prize and just keep training and and having to put on a straight face when you, when you think you can't. Without any of the support from my mum, dad, nana and papa, sister, brothers, cousins, aunties, uncles, it wouldn't be possible, especially especially my mum and dad, they're my major sponsors, man, and, and I look up to them as role models. I have a beautiful family and I'm so thankful for that because you know, I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't if it wasn't for them, because you know they're the ones who encourage me to do what I do, and and it's just it brings so much more, so much more joy to the sport when your family is you know proud of you and they got your back 100%. Day, day. Kia ora whanau. We hope that Maynard's story has inspired you. Now here's some great things that we've taken away from his amazing BMX journey so far. Being Māori is quite important to me. We, we have such strong love for our whānau. I have a beautiful family and I'm so thankful for that because you know, I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't, if it wasn't for them. Support from whānau is massive for Maynard. It's what makes him feel strong and drives him to do his best. Include your whānau in Kōrero about your goals and dreams. You may reach rock bottom, but family can help bring you back up. 
training six to seven days a week, two times a day. Waking up early hours in the morning, five o'clock to go to the gym because I'd have like a, another training sessions in the afternoon when I go back from school. Maynard works hard and sticks to a strict training schedule. Now if you really want something, be persistent and determined. This positive attitude goes for any study, training or career, not just for a sports career, and it can get you a long way. You know, you want to be with your friends, but then again, you've got to think, you know, priorities and the hard work, just got to be dedicated, man. Maynard knew that to get to where he wanted to go, he had to get his priorities right. For him, that meant saying no to parties. For you, this could mean showing up to school or work on time, or showing commitment and responsibility by sticking to a part-time job. A huge thank you to Maynard for sharing your extraordinary story. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check out more extraordinary Kiwi stories.